um, there's a lady called, is it Kemi Olunloyo? Olunloyo, Kemi Olunloyo. She's some kind of a journalist, a lady who was deported from Canada and returned to Nigeria. And I hear that she has a lot to say about the Supreme Leader, uh, Nandi Kanu. We need to learn. Like I say, always observe certain things and learn from certain things. We need to learn how to handle things as a people. We need to learn to handle things as a country. We need to learn how to handle things as an organization. Right now, Biafra is in the construct concept level. So when we talk about Biafra, we're looking at Biafra at a level where we're just trying to create Biafra. So most of us are operating at this point as an organization, not yet as a fully-fledged country. When you operate as an organization that is trying to split a country, that is trying to... When you operate as an organization that is trying to split a country or to declare sovereign integrity of an area that has previously not been declared as sovereign in the history of... Um, when you are trying to to create results that may have global implications then we have to act in a certain way one of the ways we need to act in is if a woman like that comes and starts talking nonsense about namdi we all remain silent we have to become amorphous amorphous means people cannot predict us if someone knows that when he comes out and insults biafra we all come out and insult the person back then they've gotten our number now they've gotten our number anytime Somebody knows, he says, okay, you know what? The easiest way to capture their attention is to insult Nandi. When you insult Nandi, they will all react. They've gotten a number. What I'm saying um, is we need to act like, at this point, like a cult. Not that we're a cult, but because the country is not yet made. Cult. So how does that happen? Go and talk about the free message. Nobody will answer you. There will be ultimate silence. Till you would wonder, do they exist? Do they even, where are these people? Go and talk nonsense about them. Nobody will answer you. Nobody will say a word. You won't hear anything. You can talk from morning till night. Nobody will answer you. Nor will anybody identify with the organization for you to be able to face that person. At the end, now you could begin there confused, wonder, does this organization even exist anyway? But guess what? The organization exists. It's all over the place. Freemasons are all over the world. And it's the most powerful secret cult in the universe for now. But talk nonsense about Freemasons. Nobody's coming forward to say anything. There is power sometimes in silence. There is power in silence. And that silence can be scary. Especially when you say crap and you're waiting for the result and the result doesn't come. People are silent. They keep on moving. Go and talk nonsense right now about the Rosicrucians. Amok. Ancient mystical order of Rosa Crusade. Go and talk nonsense. What you will meet is silence. Nobody will say a word. You won't hear anything. You won't know if the members even exist. Nobody will refer to you. The worst part is no matter as the more you talk, the more the silence is there. And in the strange, you'll start noticing something strange like you're talking, but the media, even the media will not pick up the news of what you said. The media won't report what you said. It's just like you're talking, you're wasting your energy. So Kemi Olunlowo Loyo or whatever that woman is called, we need to learn as a a organization that is trying to do something that people think is impossible as an organization that is, is trying to carve out sovereign integrity within a country as an organization of people who are thinking at a higher frequency that when people come in with that thing because they know they're expecting for us to react in a particular way we react the other way they wait no answer nobody says anything nobody says anything then they start wondering what is going on the only thing that they know that we exist is suddenly they see the supreme leader coming out to make a speech. Then he goes back to where he is. You don't see him anymore. Then they know that you are powerful. I am telling you that this is the way we operate. In fact, wait, let me give you history. I'm going to give you a story. At the height of the Roman Empire, okay, I'm, giving, I'm going to take us into the past. Peter had been executed. Paul had died. Most of the apostles were scattered around the world. But each were going through horrible death. Some were boiled in olive oil. Some were sliced and diced. All kinds of things happened to them. But in a very weird way, because of these guys not looking for attention in the media or Facebook or some of these places, the people, the people started wondering, what are they really about? You know, there's a silence that can make people become curious. People want to know, what is this thing about? 
what is this thing really, you know, it becomes like a cult. People want to know. People want to know. And so when people want to know, people want to come in. People want to come in. So at some point, people started knowing, asking, who are these Christians? Who are Christians? Where are they from? What kind of people are these people? You know? How, how do we interact with these guys? You know? And Christianity was slowly and gently in the underground spreading. This is the secret that the Muslims have captured. You won't hear much from them, but they are recruiting people. They recruit very quietly and secretly. They will recruit and recruit and recruit and recruit. Then you wonder why when they recruit these people, these people come out being so radical. They have their ways. We as a group must have our way. Our way cannot just be Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. We make so much noise. And then we also make, we still have aspects of the zoo, which is if someone attacks us, we start. Your mama was a prostitute and your father was a handlord. And no, 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 no. Person attack and he makes him in silence. He cannot break through. He cannot break through into us. He cannot go through our sister. He now discovers there's a structure because he discovers that no matter what he says, it doesn't break through. It doesn't break through. You understand? And we are the kind of people that by the time they want to answer her, if she can push it as well. Because the only time we can answer her is she talk, 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 talk until CNN begin talk. Then there will be a representative within Biafra that will answer.